Okay, so a lot of people ask me about posting. Um, and they want to get better at, at posting on their horse, which is the trot, um, and also sitting the trot, but right now we'll work about posting the trot. Uh, Dylan here has a medium type of trot, not, and I'm not going to collect them up or anything so that you can really see um, you know, a lot of movement going on. And he's not 100% always in cadence. He's still young and every once in a while looks off. So you'll, I used him today so that you can actually see some differences that I, that I have to make some changes and things like that um, and kind of help him and rebalance him and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about posting. When you post on your horse, it's, you don't use your stirrups. Your stirrups have very little to do with posting. It's mostly right off of the thighs, and you want to control the movement up, and you want to control the movement down. It comes from the lower part of your back, not from standing up in the stirrups. We've all seen this little cartoon. <laughs> That's not posting. I'm not sure what that is, but you get really exhausted. You want to stay in rhythm with the horse. If you have a really lofty horse that really lifts you up high, you're going to be posting maybe a little bit higher. If you have one of those really smooth little guys, if you have to post at all for any reason, um, you're going to be posting a lot closer to your horse. So you, you really want to just post individually for each horse. Don't just get a movement down and do that. If you're going over rocky terrain, you might not even go all the way down into the saddle at all. You might just kind of stay up a little bit higher. If you're, you know, smooth and stuff, you can hug the saddle a little bit more. You never to totally even sit down. So posting is a lot of balance. You want to be able to get up in your saddle without having, keep going, pick, without having anything to do with your legs. Okay. So, and you don't, again, you don't have to stand up. This is not it. Then you're totally off of your horse. If he trips or does anything, you're totally at the mercy of gravity here. So you want to stay close to your horse. Everything works off of your thighs and your balance and your general movement. So when I pick him up into a trot, again, I'm not going to worry about his face or anything like that. And I want to start posting. It's a very easy movement. My little ponytail here, I have it so it can flop. <laughs> I want you to see that... It doesn't move a whole lot. It's mostly just this lower six inches of my back going forward and back down. My legs should be able to do anything I want them to do. <laughs> and I don't have to stop posting. You want to use your legs for steering. You want to be able to use your hips and turn for steering. If you're relying on pushing off of your stirrups, it's not going to work. Okay? So you just want to kind of just come up and down very gently. And when you come down, you don't sit all the way into that seat because then you're going to get that. You see those people that do that little double bounce when they come down? That's because they're slapping on that saddle. You come up, you come down. You come up, you come down. It's a controlled movement on both directions, okay? And it's kind of, <laughs> I get in trouble from Roger when I say this, but I always say it's kind of like, almost like you want to pee over the horn <laughs> if you were a guy. So it's kind of, it's this kind of movement. I can take my feet out of the stirrups. It has nothing to do with that, okay? So you just kind of rotate up and rotate down, rotate up, rotate down, rotate up, rotate down. And again, my feet, can do anything. Everything is coming right off of here and you should be able to balance on your horse all day long in that position. There's clearance there, I'm up and I'm still down but I'm not flopped down. I'm up, down, up, down, up, down. Put the stirrups in, it doesn't matter. Up, down, up, down, up, down. You want to use the horse's momentum to help you with, with the trot, with the post. Don't worry about your diagonals. You want to be able to trot both diagonals. So you can switch diagonals all day long, okay, when you're posting. Unless you're in a show and you need to do a specific diagonal, 
you want to practice trotting the inside and the outside diagonal. Get your horse balanced. If you're only always trotting one diagonal, you won't get balanced, just like your canter. You don't always canter to the right on the right lead. Sometimes you canter to the right on the left lead, on purpose, <laughs> so that you can stay balanced. Okay, so again, just nice and up. He's really tilting in here. He wants to go visit his friend. So I'm gonna correct him there a little bit and bend him around me. So I'm gonna just switch directions here a little bit. There's a hole down there, he slips in it. So anyway, just think about it being nice and smooth. And be able to occasionally just freeze this frame up and freeze the frame down. See, when I freeze though, he stops because <laughs> he he's listens to my seat. So it's a little hard. But you wanna be able to come up and stand up in your saddle not stand up in the stirrups. Again, stirrups have nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay? You're up, you're down, you're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. Then you just do it in rhythm with the horse. Again, pick different diagonals when you want to switch diagonals. You just sit one of those beats, kind of hesitate on one of those beats and come up on the next one. Keep it nice and smooth. Nice and easy. Do not post like this. If your ponytail is flopping and your hands are flopping and your feet turn into ducks, you're not posting. I'm not sure what you're doing, but that's really tiring and it annoys the horse. Slow it down. You don't have, you should, really shouldn't see on a lot of horses you shouldn't notice the difference a whole lot between my sitting trot and my posting trot. You don't have to see a lot of air. Sitting, posting. Sitting, posting. And do that. Practice going between a sitting trot and a posting trot. You want them to really just, you want to stay low and centered gravity to your horse. You don't want to come way up again. P trips, falls, anything like that, you're at the mercy. You want it so that whatever he does underneath you, you're always centered. You're always there and stay so that your hands are steady, your body is steady, your legs, your hips are free to be able to direct your horse. You need to use all your body parts separate but together. So if you're posting, and your hands are doing this and you're trying to direct them looks more like a I don't know like you're conducting a symphony <laughs> you should be able to sit here and post and clean your fingernails I should sit here and post and be able to outline there's a little leaf on my horn here you should be able to do things you should be able to pick up your horse's mane and braid it if you wanted to has nothing you want to keep everything steady and clear all your aids all of your directionals need to be separate from your posting they are not together so I hope that helps a little bit and I'll do some sitting trot here next but uh, just really work on getting your balance getting control over it and going in the rhythm with your horse thank you